This video gives a brief introduction on smoothing of sequences of data from nonlinear spaces using geodesic averages. The method was motivated when working with noisy localization estimates from a fast moving go kart. In the illustration, the go kart position and orientation is indicated by an arrowhead in the plane. Mathematically, the location of the go kart is represented by an element in the special Euclidean group SE2. The smoothing method that we designed is similar to convolution using a linear kernel. Since the computation of an affine combination is not available in the Lie group, we use the concept of geodesic averages instead. Using a geodesic average with larger support results in an increasingly smooth sequence. The discrete differences of the sequence of raw data exhibits high frequency components with large amplitude. The discrete differences of the smooth sequence are velocities of the go-kart that are physically more plausible. In this example, we apply the smoothing method to a sequence of position and orientation data from a drone. The configuration of the drone is a point in the six-dimensional Lie group SE3. In the illustrations, we superimpose the configurations from six seconds. Left is the sequence of raw data and right is the smooth sequence. The effect of smoothing is apparent from the comparison of the discrete differences. The numerical derivatives of the sequence of raw localization data contains high frequency components of large amplitude. For the smooth sequence, this is less the case. In the time interval 10 to 18 seconds, the drone is stationary, which is correctly reflected in the smooth data. The smoothing operator is similar to a moving average filter that replaces every value by the weighted mean value computed from its neighborhood. The computation of an affine combination of three or more points is generally not available in a nonlinear space, such as a Lie group. A geodesic average takes the place of an affine combination. In this example, the geodesic average of a three-point sequence is illustrated with weights that originate from the mean. The three points are indicated as red arrowheads. The geodesic average is in gray. Here, the geodesic average of a five-point sequence is illustrated. As before, the data is from the special Euclidean group SE2, where a geodesic between two points is either a straight line or a circle. The geodesics are split at certain ratios. The structure of a geodesic average, as well as the ratios of where to split each geodesic, can be encoded as a binary tree. The tree at the top corresponds to the five-point sequence example from before. The tree below corresponds to the geodesic average that was used for smoothing of the sequence of noisy localization estimates of the go-kart. Geodesic averages were first suggested to generalize Bézier curves to Riemannian manifolds and Lie groups by Park and Ravani. Geodesic averages were also used to define subdivision curves in these spaces. The illustration shows a curve generated in SE3 by one of the early articles on this topic. An affine combination of three or more points does not translate to a unique geodesic average. For instance, quartic B-spline refinement is represented by geodesic averages that use either two or three geodesics. The smoothing method that we have presented is one additional example for the use of geodesic averages as substitute for affine combinations in nonlinear spaces. The suggestions for future work that are listed here are motivated by real-world applications. The smoothing of sequences in a causal fashion, the adaptation to filtering of non-uniformly sampled data, and feature-preserving smoothing. This concludes my presentation. The article as well as open source implementation are available online. Thank you for watching.